mom setters how are you amanda haywood here so sorry for the delay we were having a few technical issues with facebook and zoom and doing lives and the three of us myself lisa and patty were supposed to be on so we're gonna have to just adjust right which is something that as busy moms, we know that that's something we do on a daily basis and on a regular basis. Um, so what we're going to do is as soon as I finish my piece, um, I'm gonna hop off and then Patty's gonna hop on live and then Lisa's gonna hop on live to close us out. So a little bit silly with how we have to do this, but hey, that's just how it goes, right? You roll with the punches and you just make those adjustments and that's just what we do, right? We're, we're busy moms and we do that every single day. So I first want to welcome all of you here today for our mom setter huddle we are so excited and just so thrilled that you are here you made the decision to put this time aside for yourself for you right because we don't do that very often and you're taking the time and you're hopping on here and you're going to get some great nuggets and some great content throughout the week we have it set up so that today we're going to be talking about the magic word, which I'll keep you in suspense for a little bit, right? And then tomorrow, Lisa's going to come on and she's going to talk about balance. Wednesday, I'm going to hop on and I'm going to talk about organization. And then on Thursday, Patty's going to hop on. She's going to be chatting about self-image. And then Friday is set up so that it's going to be a Q&A. So anything that you didn't have answered this week or um, any questions that you might have or need some clarity on, we're gonna be having a Q&A session which is going to be 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time where you can basically just ask any questions that you have and need clarity on anything. So again, we are so excited that you are here. Hopefully you have your journal, your notebook, <clears throat> favorite pen, whatever you need your favorite drink. I've got my protein shake in hand today because this is my late breakfast for today. And um, you're ready to, to basically get started. Who's ready? You can type in the chat. You're ready. You're excited. You're amped up, right? I see Evie's on. I see Lisa's on. Awesome. Good morning. Good morning. So my name's Amanda Haywood. I am a busy mom of two beautiful girls, Braylon, who is four years old, going on 26, right? She's like Little Miss Diva. She's got such a little attitude. She's just like personality, just galore, right? And then Amaya, who is my two-year-old, and she is just super, super funny, and she's going to be literally like Braylon's bodyguard. But they keep me on my toes. They keep me busy. I'm married to my best friend, Ken. We've been married for, oh gosh, we just had our fifth year anniversary, wedding anniversary, but we've been together for 11 going on 12 years. So I'm, I'm pretty busy, got a lot of stuff going on, and um, I'm just super excited to be here and really, really blessed to be able to bring you our first topic in our Mom Setter Huddle, which is going to be the magic word. Now, you may have seen our post earlier where we talked about the magic word always being please or thank you, right? These are things that we taught our kids at an early, early age, right? I know that I was always taught that, say please, say thank you. Well, it is important, okay? But I'm here to tell you that it's not exactly the magic word. Does anybody know what the magic word is? You can type it in the chat if you think you have an idea of what that is. But this word is something that is super important and it's something that unfortunately is not really taught at a young age. It's not taught in schools like it should be. Anybody wanna take a guess? Drum roll please. Brrr. The magic word is attitude, okay? Attitude is super, super important, super important. Now, I'll give you a second or two if you wanna to try to give me your best definition of what you think attitude is in the chat. 
What do you think attitude is? Think about it for a second. So if I had to define attitude in the best possible way, right, and simplest way, it's the composite of your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, all right? So basically, anything that you're thinking throughout the day, anything that you're feeling, those things combined, right, not just alone, but combined, are going to create those actions that you have during the day. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So if you're basically having a day that is just like really lousy and you're thinking negative thoughts and you're feeling just like that icky feeling inside, then more than likely those things combined are gonna create a not so great action, right? You might react instead of responding to a situation that comes up. Uh, you might yell at somebody, right? All of these things just because you've got that icky, icky feeling, you've got that icky thought, and you're just having a poor, poor attitude, right? Now, why does this happen? So a lot of the times this happens because one, we're not taught this at a young age, right? You're not taught that you can control your attitude, okay? You're taught basically that outside environment and things around you control how you think or feel or act. So maybe the media, the news, right? I don't watch the news anymore because it's so negative and it has an impact on my thoughts. The media, all of these things influence you. Maybe other people, right? And it's not their fault because that's how they were taught. That's what they learned. It's not their fault. But you let sometimes that negativity and their idea of what an attitude or a good attitude is um, affect you, okay? Maybe it's other environments. Maybe it's just what you learned, right, from people in your family. Um, the biggest thing that people let control their attitude are their circumstances or conditions, okay? So basically what's going on in their life at that time is going to control their attitude. And it's unfortunate. But again, it's not their fault, right? It's not their fault, that's how they grew up, that's what they learned, that's what society and schools and everything taught you. But we are in control of our attitudes. We can control it. And the good thing is, is that it's never too late to be able to change your attitude. So even if you've grown up this way, thinking a certain way, letting all of these things affect you, it's never too late to change that. Never too late. I'm a prime example. Growing up, always suffered a little bit from anxiety, nervousness, stress, always had like the butterflies in my stomach, always felt super nervous, uh, sometimes nauseous, suffered from irritable bowel syndrome for years, couldn't figure out why, couldn't get a handle on it. A lot of it was my attitude. I was very irritable. I had short, short patience, right? My patients were like this thin, right? You cut me off in the middle of the street when I'm driving or turning and it would be one of those like, F you or who do you think you are? And I just had this attitude, right? And then it would spiral throughout the rest of the day. And so nothing ever seemed to go right. Nothing ever seemed to be positive. Everything seemed to be kind of yucky and just down and that just kept the anxiety, depression, everything spiraling out of control. And it wasn't until I started working on some self-improvement, really working on my mindset, understanding the power of a positive attitude and how impactful that could be on my life, how life-changing that could be for me, that things started to change. I no longer had this poor self-image. I no longer suffered from the fact that success couldn't happen for me, that it only happened to other people, right? I understood that I could now achieve certain dreams and goals that I wanted to because I was in control of my attitude. I could control my thoughts, my feelings, and my actions. It's a game changer. Once you really grasp that and understand that you are in control of how you feel about something, how you feel about your circumstances, your situation, your condition, it's a game changer. 
you have the ability. You control your thoughts. You control your feelings. You control your actions. Now, do I still get nervous sometimes? Do I still have some anxiety at times? Of course. It's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Changing your attitude and having that mental shift is going to take some time and some practice and some work, but it's worth it. You are worth it. So I hope this little piece on attitude and a little bit of my experience has helped to kind of give you just a little, little, little idea on how you can shift your mindset and shift your attitude and really be in control of your destiny, your future, your dreams, and your goals. Now I'm gonna hop off and I'm going to allow Patty to hop on because I don't know if I can add her in here and I don't really wanna mess anything up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop off this live and Patty's gonna hop on. Patty is our, our seasoned mama of the group. She is funny, she is witty, she has some amazing content, and she's going to bring you some, some, some really, really good ideas and some of her experience on attitude. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna log off my live, she's gonna hop on, and then Lisa's gonna close us out. So Patty, take it away, my dear. Mwah.